Friends, a user had a question how to make a corrugated roof in Tinkercad. I've got a strategy, so let's get cracking. Friends, this one starts with finding the profile that you want. So I typed in 2D corrugated metal profile, went through images, and I found one that I want to work with. I'm going to use a screen capture tool to grab it. I've got a shortcut so that I can quickly select it just like that and grab the part that I want to work with. This takes us to Snagit, which is an awesome tool for screen captures. I do not want that letter B, so I'm going to simply erase it. Then I'm going to go to the image and canvas color, and I want it to match the design. Bingo. I can hit OK. Fills it in. I've now got my design. I'm going to export it as a PNG. I can do that with one click by clicking my Dropbox button. Just like that, it was saved. And we're going to take that image and turn it into an SVG using the website Pick SVG. We're going to upload that picture. Here is my JPG that was saved. When it comes in, usually I switch to internal two to get that exact design. This time we could have worked with either of them to get that black profile. Now we simply hit download SVG. As you can see, I named it corrugated. This time I'm going to just leave the garbage name and hit save. Now we can visit Tinkercad. I'm on my design page. I'm going to simply hit create brand new 3D design. Let's start by naming it. I'm going to call this round roof because it's more fun to type than corrugated. And then we're going to choose import and I'm going to just show you what that SVG looks like flat. So I had it in my downloads folder. This is the one that I named correctly. I'm going to choose art. I'm going to make this smaller just because it's easier to work with. Notice they both scale and choose import. There is our design. Obviously, no way to bend it. I'm going to put it over there, though, just so that you know that you could use that maybe for another project. And let me show you the magic tool. We are going to type SVG and search, and we want the SVG revolver. We want to choose a file to work with. I'm going to leave all these numbers alone for a moment. And we're going to grab that corrugated SVG again. These red lines mean it is calculating. So we'll let it finish that. Notice because of the complex curves, it does take a moment. And there is the first version. So this went 300 degrees around. And the profile was aimed like this. Check it out, friends. If we do the sketch rotation and change it to 90 degrees and press enter, do note, you're going to have to wait a few moments. And I'm going to pause this video so that you miss some of those moments. But bam, there is your design. Now notice this revolves 300 degrees. For that round roof the user wanted, they wanted to put it on a wagon, they're going to want 180 degrees. Once again, type the number and be patient. And bingo, there is your tiny corrugated pattern. Now, it's got an inside diameter of 10. Notice it fits exactly on a centimeter. You could push this out as far as 20. What you're going to probably have to do, though, is scale it to the exact size you want for your project. So let's say I wanted it to be 55. I just did shift stretch, type 55, and it scales everything the way you'd want. Notice we're going to stand it up so now it looks like a roof. D for drop. And if I do control D and shift nudge, I can move those out. And if we set it to point one, we can get it so it lines up just the way you want. We will need to overlap those inner parts to get it exactly like you'd want it for 3D printing. If you want your roof a little shorter, this is where you can manually squeeze it. Do note if you stretch it this way, these ends start to look a little bit funky. And it might be tougher for your printer to print. Once again, if it's back like this, there is a chance your printer can print that without supports. Friends, of course, I want to thank Adam for the original question. It was on the Facebook Tinkering with Tinkercad group. Friends, I also want to thank my supporters on Patreon. You can learn more about that in the description or using the bit.ly up above. And finally, I want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget every time that you hit that like button, share a video, add a comment, or hit subscribe. You're helping HL Mod Tech get just a little bit bigger, which absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering.